Welcome to this video on paper construction that will cover your slump pump forms in pottery. You will be making, uh, I think, two to three of them. And so this demo is on that method. But to refresh some people, your slump pump form, we had a plaster bat that uh, we laid clay on top. And when we laid that clay on top, once it dried and we were able to remove it, then we had this nice shallow bowl. And if, um, when you lay the clay on top, it's considered a hump form. And then when we talked about a slump form, we would take our container that we wanted to replicate and we would slump the clay in here. Once it dried, we would then remove it, fire it, then glaze it and refire it for a finished piece. So some of the things that you will need is probably some tape. You can also use photo tabs. Uh, that, these would work well. If you don't have it, your tape will work. Uh, the other item that you will probably need are some um, paper clips here. You will also need some scissors, a protractor, and a ruler. And so one of the things that we're going to do is talk about constructing your shapes. So to start with, I want to show you an example of what are some of the templates that you are going to look at. I have here a diagram of the different degrees that you would find on your protractor. Um, it's a little bit more difficult to read. so. We are really using the area between 90 degrees. And so some of them are, we are, we are cutting things so that we want them either at uh, 65, 45, or maybe even 25. And so you will have a, some different templates. You will have a template that, a template that you might find that has wording on it and one that has no wording on it so that it would have guidelines for you to utilize. Here, this is for basically doing a square container. And this is an example of the square container. And we're going to talk about how we're going to shape that. But in your packet for you to use will be one that will have information on what you have to do to one that is void of any of the written markings so that you can print on the back side. And to give you an idea of that is that um, here on this form that I'm going to also show you is one that I did a design and I printed it on this side of the cover and on the back. So what I had to do was cut it out. So I have one for making a square box, rectangular box, really, not square. You'll get a, a square uh, template too. Um, but basically, the other one is one that will lay a little bit more open so that this is going to be, um, you're going to use this 90 degree angle whereas these will either be at a 20 or a 30 or a 25, depending upon which line you decide to, to use. And so what I want to do is, again, tell you that you will have two sheets of paper, one that will have information for you, and then the second one will be one that is a blank so that you can use it, print it, use it either to print it, then you put it back in your printer to reprint on it, or you're going to do your drawing, whether it be maybe a watercolor that you might decide to do on it. If you were someone who is doing photography with me and you have a photo image that you would like to print on it. On this one is a piece of my artwork that I've done that was in uh, Conte Crayon. 
And then what I did is I changed it to a gray scale and then I printed it. So if we take a look at some of these and what they kind of look like, I'm going to undo this so that you can see how this kind of comes together because this is what you're going to be doing. Let me find my uh, blank sheet here so that you can kind of see. So if I take this and I fold it out, and this one is, um, you can see, is a full, almost a full type of sheet. So if I lay this down, you will notice that these have this type of cut mark. It is printed on this type of paper, and you can either print on it or remember, use it as a template, especially if you don't want these wordings and you don't want line markings on your image, then you will cut this out to lay it on it, trace it so that you know where your cut line is, what is a fold line. These serrated, are serrated, uh, these dotted lines are for your folds. This is a cut line. So this line right here was cut and then these were folded. I had to use my, I, what I did was I brought this up, I folded it so that I could fold it, and then I am able to decide how this is going to go together when you fold it. This is for a square one. And what I'm going to do is only do it this way so that you kind of see. And something that you might find is, let's say your folds are not perfect, that will be okay. So then what you would be doing is gluing these edges together. And then you will have to photograph them and also send them to me. And you will have to have different angles. And the requirements will all be spelled out in a document for you to follow. And you must follow them correctly for you to get the proper credit. So to give you an example, we're going to, this is a square one, now this is a different angle. I'm going to take this apart so you can kind of see how this one had to go together. So if I unfold this, this is the way this image is. And what I did was I printed on cardstock my photo. And then I turned it over and reprinted it, and I printed a blue over the back side of it. And you can see I have some of my markings um, on the back side, and I, that didn't bother me. And so what I'm doing is then you have to make a decision where you are going to decide to bring these together so they, they match. So on this one here, you can see and I'll get, take this one out. So this is the one this is looking at. You basically are doing a cut line here. These are all folds so that when you have this cut and then you are folding them, you will have to make that decision what looks best for this corner. Do I put it on the inside or is it going to be on the outside? Inside or the outside? Take a paper clip so that you can see and make a decision how you want your piece to look, inside or outside. So don't glue, what, don't glue it right away until you make a decision on how you would like that to look. So then this kind of comes together so it will be like this. So on the back side, this is what your piece will look like. Now this is one of the things you're going to find is that when you're folding it, you may not do the, maybe not do the most perfect of jobs. So once you put this together and you've glued it, if you find that some of this hangs over, and this is why I did not glue this, is because I want to be able to show you that if you have a little bit of this that is showing and you don't want it there, then once you have glued it and it's dried, then what you want to do is get cut it. Uh, clean. Take your scissors, cut it so that that's not going to show. And so that um, box here that is a little bit more open up is going to be this template so that you are going to do a box and you have to do one of this opened. So I want to quickly show you on here what you would want to do. 
So I'm going to take the back side and I'm going to take my um, ruler, set it here, and you are going to come in and kind of fold it here. Just in those areas that you feel that you're going to need it. So the other thing that you're going to do is we're going to come in here and cut this. We're going to cut all edges. And if you find that this works better for you to do that first, you can. And this is where, uh, with these wide markings and that, um, if you cut a little bit too much or not enough, you're going to find that um, we're going to bring up the, the ruler here, bend that, come in here, I'm going to bend this, find these markings. Now I'm bending it this way, but then I am going to bend it um, the other way, but this way I can see where those bends are, and then I'm going to just bend it back the opposite direction, because I'll be able to see it. So I've got all edges, okay, so now I'm going to, so you should be able to kind of see those folds. So then you should be able to kind of come back with your ruler and come in here so that you can come back and get those folds going in the proper direction. And then what you can do is come in, take your paper clip, I think I forgot to do this one. I'm going to have to undo it. It's a little... So if that happens that you just got to take it back apart, just take it back apart and rub it. There we go. That looks nicer. Nope, I wanted that on the outside. So make sure that you are doing it consistently all the way around. Once you have this here, again, you may find that you have to tweak it a little bit, and then that's what you will do. So now you have a very beautiful um, slump hump form that's uh, part of the paper construction. And so, and I think this edge could be a little bit tighter you can work on that so this is allowing you to have a better display um, for a representation of a, a slump pump form so we have a square one and you will have one that is going to be um, around 30 degrees and so uh, happy construction